Hey there, Yellow Jackets! My name is Shiloh Robinson and I'm a new student and marketing specialist here at Montana State University Billings. We are so excited that you're taking the next steps and furthering your education and attending MSUB. There are several different ways that you can pay for your college education here. There are loans, which are determined by our financial aid office and the FAFSA, and those will need to be paid back after finishing your degree. You can pay out of pocket, and then there are scholarships and grants. Scholarships and grants do not need to be repaid, and we here at MSU Billings highly encourage you to take the time to fill out our scholarship application to help cut down on the amount of money you will receive through loans or pay out of pocket each semester. Our scholarship application is a little unique. Instead of you finding and filling out individual applications through our university, you simply need to fill out one application and we actually match you to scholarships you're eligible for. So it makes it easier on you. Today, I am going to be walking you through the application and giving you some tips that I learned both as a student here at MSUB and as a reviewer of applications. Prior to filling out the application, you'll need to have been accepted and obtained your net ID from us. Once you have your net ID and have reset your password, you will be able to access the application. Once you've done that, head over to msubillings.edu and either click on the scrolling banner if there is an option there, or search scholarships on the top right corner. Click on the first link and you will be able to enter the scholarship portal and log in with your net ID. You'll notice that there are several options. The only other application you may need to fill out if you qualify are the applications for the Chancellor's Excellence Awards, the Yellow Jacket Excellence Program, Western Undergraduate Exchange Scholarship, and Explore Montana Awards are all determined by your GPA and residency at the time of your application, and no additional applications are needed for these scholarships. Now that we have logged into the scholarship portal, you will see you have the option of selecting how many credits you'll be taking a year. Certain scholarships require certain credit hours be met for you to receive them, which is why we ask, if you are planning on taking a full course load as an undergraduate, go ahead and select 15 plus credits per semester. You do not need to have a solid answer for this yet, just try and pick what you believe will be most accurate for you for the next academic year. Next up on the application, you are going to need to enter three references. I cannot stress this enough, but please do not use family members on this portion. We recommend people like teachers, coaches, mentors, or employers to write these letters of recommendation for you because we want to hear about your academic abilities, character, achievement, and all that jazz. Also, make sure you ask them before you list them as a reference so that they can be prepared to let us know all about you. For my references, I chose to use Buzz McStinger, who is an upstanding, well-known person within our community. Kristen Peterman, who is my boss here at MSU Billings, and Kathy Kotecki, who has known me for the last six years as a student. Now you get to talk yourself up. There is a word limit on these sections, but please use as many words as you can and really advocate for yourself. Have someone proofread your responses as well and help you tidy up any grammatical errors. It really makes a difference when reading these. Tell us about your educational goals. Why are you coming to college? What do you hope to do? How will receiving a scholarship help you achieve your goals? Then tell us how you're involved. Were you on the cheer team or part of the FFA? Did you volunteer at a local animal shelter? Were you the president of your class and maybe work at a diner? We want to hear all about what you did besides academics. Finally, tell us how a scholarship will help you pay for college and any circumstances that affect you and lead to you needing help paying for school. The next section will focus on us learning a bit more about you. Did you attend community college here in Montana previously? What is your marital status? Do you have kids? If you're a current student, are you in any student organizations? Are you currently employed? Have any fellow Yellow Jacket relatives that you know of ever lived on a ranch? Or are you a veteran? We wanna know. This application is really an opportunity to advocate for yourself 
and let our staff and faculty members know why you should receive these scholarship monies. Take time to really fill it out and really think about your answers. That hour and a half that you spend on this could substantially change how you pay for your education. At the end of the application, there are going to be a few additional questions that you need to do, just letting us know that you consent and that all the information you have provided is correct as far as you know, a FERPA release information, and a statement noting that you will fill out thank you notes for those who have provided the monies to help fund these scholarships if you are to receive any. If you have any questions, please call Financial Aid and Scholarships at 406-657-2188 or email fineaid at msubillings.edu. Thanks for tuning in with us today and we are excited to see your application for scholarships come through.